This video outlines in short, the main features of the Tasks tab, that is found in the Authority workspace. It shows the main types of tasks, and how to distinguish them. How you can search for, sort, or filter your tasks. How to assign, or complete a task, and how to create a subtask. The Tasks tab can be found only in the Authority workspace. It enables users to monitor the sequence of events occurring for assessment of clinical trials applications and the activities to be performed in the CTIS system. The Tasks tab shows all the tasks that are associated with the clinical trials you have access to. These tasks are automatically generated by the CTIS system based on the application's evaluation flows. By accessing this tab, you can follow the clinical trial workflow. Users with certain rights can enable workload management by assigning tasks to other users. Tasks are classified into two main groups. Hard tasks and soft tasks. Hard and soft tasks are differently colored, allowing users to distinguish between them. Hard tasks are in gray color, while soft tasks are in beige color. For more details on the differences between soft tasks and hard tasks, you are invited to consult our e-learning from the same module. In the Tasks tab, there are three main features that will assist you to organize your workload more effectively. Search, Sort, and Filter. Search functionalities on top of the screen will help you to look for specific tasks. You can use the basic search on the left side, for which you are asked to fill in either the clinical trial number ID, or the annual safety report ID. In the advanced search functionality, you can retrieve particular tasks, by populating various criteria, such as the medicinal product of the associated clinical trial, and the due date of the task, among others. By using for example, the sponsor field, type the name of the sponsor organization, for which you want to filter the tasks related to its trials. In the due date criterion, in the end of the date range, select from the calendar the 28th of February. Click on the search tasks button, to retrieve the tasks that satisfy the selected criteria. In this example, from the 16 in total tasks, after your search, you retrieve only 6 tasks. As shown on the table below, the six tasks have due dates within the month of February. The sort functionality allows you to sort the listed tasks according to various criteria, such as the due date and the creation date. By sorting all the tasks by due date, you can prioritize the tasks by bringing on top those that their due dates are close and act upon them before they expire. The filter on the right side allows you to filter the tasks, and narrow down the list of them. You can filter them, and view only the tasks that have been already assigned to you, or to your group. Select the My Task filter to see only the tasks that have been assigned to you. In the example, from the initially 16 tasks in total, you can see only the three tasks that have been assigned to you. In each line of the table, you can see a task and information such as the due date, or the person that has been assigned. On the extreme right side of each task, and depending on your assigned roles, the status and the type of task, you can see some of the seven control buttons. Not all users can see the same buttons. With the Assign to Me button, you can assign the task to yourself. Click on the button and then click on Yes. You will be transferred to the working area of the task. Back to the Tasks tab, you will find the task you just assigned to yourself. The status has changed from Pending to Assigned. Your username appears on the Assignee field. With the Assign button, you can assign the task to other users that have the right profile to perform the task. In the drop-down menu, you may see the users that are eligible to take over the task. Select one and click on the Assign button. Back to the Tasks tab, you can view the task that you just assigned to a user. The assignee username has been added in the respective field. With the Release button, you can remove the assignee user from tasks that have been already assigned. Click on it and then on the Yes button. In the example, 
the task becomes unassigned. The assignee field is empty. With the Create Subtask button, you can split the tasks into subtasks and populate their respective details in the pop up forms. Fill in the details in the respective fields and make sure that the due date is no later than the due date of the associated task, otherwise, the subtask won't be created. Click on the Create button and a message that the subtask has been created will appear on the top right corner. With the plus icon button, you can view the subtasks that are associated with the selected task, including the one you created previously. Another plus icon button will appear next to each subtask. Click on it to view the details of the subtask. The complete button appears only in the soft tasks. If you consider the task completed, click on the complete button and then to yes button. The status changes from assigned to completed. The extend button appears only for certain types of tasks, as defined by the regulation. You can use it to extend the due date of the task. After filling in the details of the form, an exclamation mark will appear on the task in the due date field, informing you for the extension. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on the tasks tab, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.